I just built an AI agent that talks to customers on WhatsApp. Like, it reads your message and replies instantly, just like a real human. Look at this, when someone sends a message, the AI agent reads it, understands it, and then gives an instant reply. It can answer customers' questions, qualify leads, and even book meetings, all by itself. No humans, no delays, just 24-7 smart replies. I have built this with an A10. Now just imagine this AI agent replies to all your customers 24 7 while you sleep many big companies are already using this but i've made it simple low cost and easy for anyone to use no coding no technical headache just pure automation so this is just a basic whatsapp chatbot it will answer all the basic question about my ai automation agency okay so let us check how it works we'll open whatsapp first so this is the whatsapp this is the number so we'll type here hi and let's see how it replies Hi there, how can I assist you today? Can you tell me about your services? Yep, we build AI chatbots, WhatsApp automations, AI call assistants and custom AI workflows to help you automate with your business. Anything specific you want to streamline? Yes, but uh, before that, can you tell me about your pricing let me check the response of course we do a one-time setup fee plus optional monthly maintenance depending on your needs no surprises or long-term contracts want to book a quick chat to get exact pricing yes sure now it provides me the link where I can click and book a call okay so this is just a basic chatbot you can build for your business it will answer all the basic questions okay so now we'll be building this entire workflow from scratch for this you will have to have an 8 account if you don't have an 8 account just go to google search an 8 click enter and this is the link okay just click on this link and you will have to sign up if you don't have any account so first we'll be adding a whatsapp business cloud node okay so for this we'll select this and search for whatsapp business cloud okay just select this option and from here in the drop down you can select on message okay so now click on back so after we receive a message from whatsapp we'll feed that information to an ai agent so for this reason we'll be selecting ai agent node here okay so for this click on plus search for ai agent select this okay so now you can click on back and for this ai agent to think we'll add a brain which is the chat model so we'll click on plus and we'll select open ai chat model okay so by default it is selected gpt 4.1 mini so you can select it as per your requirement and please note that you will have to connect your open ai account with an a10 so if you need any help with it you can let me know so now click on back so next we'll also be adding a memory so that it remembers the past conversations okay so for this we'll click on plus and we'll click simple memory here okay and now in the context window land i'll select let's say 10 it means it will remember the past 10 messages okay so now i'll click on back so now for the customer to get a reply on whatsapp we'll also be adding another node this will also be of whatsapp but this time it will send a reply okay so for this we'll click this we'll again search for whatsapp business cloud select this and in the drop down this time we'll select send a message okay so now i'll click on back so now we have added all the nodes that was required for this workflow okay so now our goal is to connect so to connect this first we'll click this whatsapp trigger node so we'll select this so if i open this you can see that a credential to connect with it is already whatsapp oauth account 7 it means i have already connected it for my existing workflow okay but for this video i'll be doing everything from scratch okay so for this i'll click here I'll click on create new credential okay i'll select this now i have to enter client id and crime secret so for this information we'll have to go to facebook to fetch these details okay so for this just open a google and we'll search for business facebook okay and now we'll be clicking the first link okay so it is business.facebook.com i'll click on the first link so after clicking here this is the page that we will see so now I have already got a business account in Facebook. So if you don't have any business account, you have to create your own account. Okay. So for that, you will have to sign up. So since I've already got an account, this is the page that I'll be seeing. So now from the left hand side, I'll click on settings. So after clicking on settings, this is the page that I will see. Now from here, I'll be selecting apps on the left hand side. I'll click on apps and then this is the page that I will see. Okay. So now I'll click on plus add sign so i'll click here 
and I'll have to create a new app ID. So I'll click here and now the developer console will open. So this is what I will see. So now I have to put an app name here. Okay. So I'll type, let's say N8 and 5. Okay. So now this is the email ID and now I'll click on next. Now for use case, I'll select others and I'll select this one and I'll click on next. Okay. Now this is what I will see. I'll select business from here and then I'll click on next. And this is the app name. This is my email ID. This is the business account that I have selected. Now I'll click on create app. Now I'll have to enter the password of my Facebook account and then I'll click on submit. So after clicking on submit, this is what we will see. So since we are connecting WhatsApp with N8, so we will select WhatsApp from here. Okay. So I'll click on setup here. So now this is what you will see. Now you will have to come to app settings and then you will have to click in basic. Okay. I'll click on basic here. So now this is the app ID. We'll have to copy this. So to copy this, we'll simply click here. This is copied. Now we'll come here and in the client ID section, we'll paste it here. Okay. So now we need the client secret. So for client secret, we'll again come here. So this is the client secret. We'll click on show and then we'll copy this. We'll come here. We'll paste this and now we'll click on save. Okay. We can see connection tested successfully. Okay. We'll click on back. We'll click on back to canvas. Okay. Now this is connected. Okay. So now we'll have to connect this similarly. So we'll open this. Now by default, WhatsApp account nine is connected. Okay. For my existing workflow. So now I'll be doing everything from scratch. Okay. So for this, I'll click here. I'll select create new credential. So this is what you will see. We need access token and we need a business account ID. Okay. So we'll get all this information from Facebook itself. So we'll come here again for access token ID. So on the left hand side, we'll see this option of WhatsApp. We'll see a drop down icon. We'll click here and then we can see API setup. Okay. We'll click here on API setup. So after clicking on API setup, this is the page that you will see. Okay. So now we'll have to click on generate access token. But before that, you will have to confirm the number here. Okay. So here it is from number. So from number is a test number, which Facebook provides to us. Okay. But if you want to add a different number, if you have a business account, you'll click here and you have to mention your business name and all the information that you have already. And if you don't have any business account, if you want to create everything from fresh, you can follow the same process. Okay. You can click on next and it will take maybe one to two days time to get this activated and then only you can proceed further but for this video's case i'll be using the test number which is provided by facebook okay so i'll close this so this is the test number which facebook has already provided okay so now here in the two section i'll be selecting the recipient phone number okay so here i'll be entering my own phone number so since i've already uploaded my number here so i'll just select this from here and then i'll come up and i'll click on generate access token here so now this is what I will see. I'll click on continue as Dhirajas. And now I'll select this first option, opt in to all current and future WhatsApp account. I'll select this option. I'll click on continue. Okay. And then I'll click on save. And now I can see Dhiraj S has been connected to N8 and 5. Okay. So now got it. And now this is the access token. I'll click on copy here to copy this and we'll come here and we'll paste it here in access token section. Okay. Now we'll also require the business account ID. So for this, we'll come here again. And this is the business account ID. We'll click here to copy this. We'll come here and we'll paste it here. Okay. Now we'll click on save. Okay. Now we can see connection tested successfully. We'll close this now. Okay. So this part is done now here sender phone number. So sender phone number Facebook has already given us. This is the number we'll select it from here. And then for recipient phone number, I'll be entering my own phone number here. Okay. Now the message type will be text and the text body will be success. So we'll change this later on in our video. So for now we'll be keeping it success. So we'll click on back. So now we have connected our N8 and with our WhatsApp business. Okay. So now we'll try to test it and see how it goes. So for this, we'll have to open WhatsApp and we'll have to message from our own number. Okay. So let us find the test number come here. So this was the test number. We'll just copy this number. We'll open a new tab. We'll open whatsapp.me forward slash and then we'll paste the number that we have copied. Okay. This is the test number. So we'll remove all the spaces in between and then we'll click on enter. Okay. We'll cancel this and we'll click continue to WhatsApp web. And now our WhatsApp will open. 
and we can see our whatsapp is open now okay so we'll be typing a message here but before that we'll be executing the workflow okay so we'll come to our workflow here so we'll click on execute workflow and we'll come here we'll type let's say hi okay now we'll come back here again and now we can see there are two errors here okay so we got the first error in ai agent node and then the second error in simple memory so we'll try to fix this okay so to fix this we'll double click here so from here we'll select define below and we'll select expression we'll make it big and then from the left hand side we'll be dragging the body from here okay so now click on back now click on back so body means the message that i'll be typing so that it gets the context what it has to do so now in simple memory we'll double click and then similarly here also we'll select define below and then we'll select expression here and then we'll open this so i've already built a code using chat gpt you can also do the same so i've pasted it here so this means it will check for whatsapp trigger node and from there it will get all the information that was there in the message and it will also get the phone number okay so context zero means it will get the first phone number that was there because it has to remember the past 10 conversations from there okay so this is what it means so now click on back to canvas and now we have fixed both the errors and now i'll click on save here okay so after clicking on save i'll again execute the workflow here okay so i'll execute the workflow and now i'll come here again and i'll type hello this time let me see what happens hello and let me see what happens now so this time we can see we have got a successful response from here there was no error this time okay so it has sent a reply here so let me check what reply have we got so just come here and we have got a reply by the name success okay so why success because here in the reply node so we have mentioned success here for this reason we are getting success but we do not need success we need the actual response that the ai agent is providing so for this we'll delete this success and we'll drag the output from here okay so just select this and drag and drop it here okay so we have got this now i'll click on back to canvas i'll click on save again okay so let me execute the workflow and see how it goes this time i'll click here now let me type hi again and let it execute it has given a response let me check the response and yes we have got this response now hi there how can i help you today okay so this is the response that we have got this time so this is just a generic chatbot okay but we do not want this because it will only reply as per what chat gpt will do okay we want to use this for a business use case for example let's say for my ai agency slack ai i'll be using it for that purpose okay so now let us see how we can do that so we'll open the workflow here we'll open ai agent here and now we'll have to feed a system prompt here okay so here we'll be selecting system message and now we'll select expression we'll make it big we'll click on close we'll delete this i have already made a prompt i'll just paste it here okay so this is the prompt you can see you are sam a friendly customer support representative for slack ai an ai automation agency that helps small and medium businesses automate their operations okay so this is the knowledge base what is slack ai who we work with what makes slack ai different from other ai automation agencies so basically i have given it a basic faq okay so that it can respond accordingly so now i'll click on back and i'll click on back to canvas i'll save this okay now i'll make it active and let me see how it works this time now this is active now let us see how it works okay can you tell me about your services now let me check the response sure we build AI chatbots, WhatsApp automations, and AI call agents that handle your business tasks on autopilot. What part of your business are you looking to automate? But before this, can you help me book a free consultation? So we'll correct this. We'll click on enter. And now let us check the response. We have got this response absolutely here is the link to book your free consultation okay it has given me the link so all this information i have already put it in the system prompt okay so if you open the system prompt you can see i have given all this information and based on this it will answer my questions okay so this is how you can build a simple chatbot for your business use case so it will just give you basic answers based on the system prompt that you have given 
okay but if you want to make it more advanced then you can add a tool here okay so for example so i have built another whatsapp chatbot but this is a rack chatbot okay it means it will fetch for every information from our vector database okay so in this case i have added a pine code vector database it will fetch all the answers from the pdf or document what i have uploaded there about my business okay so this time the answers that this will provide will be very concise and precise so if I keep on updating my business information, I'll simply upload the PDF in Google Drive. Not only this, it will also capture the name, phone number, email ID and the services that the customer is interested in and it will feed it in a Google Sheet. So if you want to know how to build this RAG agent, you can simply check my older video and you will get to see. So yeah, this is how you can connect your WhatsApp with N810 and you can make a simple basic AI WhatsApp chatbot for your business. So if you want the exact prompt that I've used here or the JSON file, you can let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video.